Hello, I'm Paul Hand, and welcome, badminton fans, to the vibrant, hugely popular travel destination of Bangkok. After a tough 2020 that saw the culling of most tournaments, the badminton world is keenly poised and pounced to pounce back into action. Our venue, the Colossal Impact Arena here, is playing host to our continuing badminton coverage over the next three weeks. The uh, Impact Exhibition Conference and Hotel Facility is absolutely massive, cavernous, multi-faceted hall here with a huge indoor usable space. Bangkok's HSBC BWF World Tour Badminton Extravaganza continues today with the Yonex Thailand Open, followed next week by the Toyota Thailand Open, both Super 1000 tournaments. Action culminates with the belated HSBC BWF World Tour Finals starting on Wednesday the 27th of January. It's quarterfinals Friday today and uh, to get us underway we've got top seeded ties tip for the title. Poivre Nucro and Terra Tenachai, current world number three team, take on former world number three team, the seventh seeds Chan and Go. The top seeds trail 1-4 head-to-head going into that one. Following that, there should be plenty of fireworks in our high-calibre top 10 men's singles clash between fast riser Li Zhijia and uh, world number two, Cho Tian Chen. They've got history. Our third match features the Korean mixed doubles fourth seed, Seo and Chai, who take on the sole remaining Hong Kong mixed doubles team, Chang and Ng. Then we have an Anglo-Korean women's doubles first meeting featuring fourth seeds Kim and Kong against Birch and Smith. Match five sees the English men's doubles team of Ellis and Langridge, who will have to tread very carefully against two tearaway teens from Indonesia, who yesterday downed the Asian Games silver medalists and fifth seeds Alfian and Adianto. Watch out for the 2019 World Junior Champions, Carnando and Martin. In the second uh, fifth matches on court one, your eye, like mine, I'm sure is drawn to that trio of top 10 singles matches. Tatsu Ying against Michelle Lee, Ansi Young against Rachinok Intanon and Victor Axelson taking on Jonathan Christie. So in 20 quarterfinals contested across two match courts, who can safely navigate their way into the semi-finals? As we look at the mixed doubles draw then, should be plenty of fireworks in that uh, top 10 mixed doubles quarterfinal, an all seeded battle. Thai top seeds, Pavanukro Teratanachai, taking on the seventh seeds, Chan and Go of Malaysia. And as I say, they won their last showing against the Malaysians, but prior to that, they'd lost the last four times. Who will find a way through to tomorrow's semi-finals. We'll be ushering you through the first five matches, myself, Paul Hand and Morton Frost, and then we'll be followed on by uh, Jill Clark and Steen Pedersen. So then, top seats with a tough ask here against these two very experienced Malaysians. On court two. As they take to court. Let's listen for the Matthias Gutschensen and Alexandra Bode from Denmark versus Prawin Jordan and Melody Dewa Octowenti from Indonesia. Umpire. Bert Van Horenbeek from Belgium. Service to Reza Roshan Omid from Iran. Well, I think that the Malaysians elected to uh, request the other end. Yeah, that's what's happening. Hence the change in kit boxes. So these two might be a little anxious having... Uh, well, they won the last encounter, as I said earlier, but they've lost four times to the experienced uh, Malaysians. So what will today bring? They've had uh, quite a tough passage, Parvanukro and uh, Teratanachai, in getting here. They've been extended the distance, going the long way round, dropping opening games in both matches, coming in here to uh, other Malaysians, Hu and Chia. And also Go and Chevon Jamie Lay as well, as we look at the 23-year-old from Chambury. 
cranked off that career high ranking. World Championship silver medalists in 2019. There's uh, Sapsiri Tera Tanachai, 28 years old, from Udon Thani, in Thailand. They only contested three World Tour tournaments in 2020. The All England Open, they lost in the final, of course, to Jordan and Octavianti. There's their path through. As I say, it's, uh, they've been the other side of an hour in both matches. So uh, let's hope fatigue doesn't play a part. They're all young and strong, these athletes. I doubt it at this stage in the uh, tournament. But they also had a couple of round of 16 showings last year as well. And uh, one in the Indonesian Masters and one in the Malaysian Masters as well. Let me say hello to their Malaysian opponents. 32-year-old Chan Punsun from Penang. And they were 2019 Thai Masters champions. And of course, the big strap line for them is uh, Rio 2016 silver medalists. And Go Liu Ying, just a year younger. Playing off the ranking of seventh, have been together as high as three in the world. That was back in November 2016. Lost in the first round of the All England to Rivaldi and Mentari. Semi-finals of the Malaysian Masters to Wang and Wang and Huang. Quarterfinals of the Indonesian Masters as well. And uh, well, that was their a glimpse of who they downed to get here. They've had uh, straight games yet to concede a game. Took out an Indonesian pairing of Morlana and Bandosa, Bandasso, I should say, and then Robin Tabeling and Selina Peak. Dutch pair as well. All in straight games. Around 40 minutes, both of those matches. So they might be a little fresher. Paul Hand, Morton Frost alongside. Morton, delighted to work with you again. What are, you, what are your thoughts? I think that uh, the Thailand combination has been Great struggling play. a bit here in the uh, early matches and they have not really uh, seen uh, the right form from them and I'm really very interested to see whether they can sort of uh, bring it out today and um, I think it can be a very interesting match. Uh, Chan Peng Sun and Go Liu Ying, of course, as you rightly point out, is having fairly good st statistics against the Thailand pair. Uh, but it must be uh, remembered that uh, the last encounter between the two pairs was won by the Thailand pair. It was, in fact, in straight games as well, wasn't it? 21 16, 28 26, a tight straight games at the World Tour. Uh, it's Finals it's last 2019. Going to be a big fight at the net between Go Liu Ying and uh, Tarat Tanachai. And uh, it's all about getting the attack and, of course, being the aggressor and trying to score the points. And uh, both players like to play aggressive badminton. Okay. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sapsari Thayeranachai and Dichapun Kwabaranukra, Thailand. And on my left, Goli Ying and Chan Teng Soon, Malaysia. Sapsari Thayeranachai, preserve to Chan Teng Soon, Lobo, play. One long. Wondering, Morton, whether it might be the pressure of expectation why they've sort of taken three games to win both previous matches against Malaysian teams, the top seeds in red. Yeah, it's uh, pair number three they're playing from Malaysia in this tournament. First, it was uh, Hu Bang Run and uh, Chai Yisi. Oh. And of course. Service over. 
go and one, touch you online two. yesterday. Well, I'm so delighted to see Go Liwing back on the, the international scene. She had two knee operations in uh, prior to 2015. And she had a very heavy shoulder injury and surgery in Germany in 2017. So it's good to have her back in full form here on the circuit. Service over. Three, two. Bit of a perilous sport, isn't it, in that regard? You know, what with the knee ACL surgery for Tara Tanachai as well. Yeah. It takes its toll. It does. Great fitness, though, isn't it? Good play by uh, Dichapol there. Block shots really controlling the rally well. Look at that one. That was a beauty. Excellent play. Pull my runner crow here. Four, three. And it was that good an indication of it. Go Liu Ying even hadn't even flinched. She was stone footed there. Didn't see it coming. Very few did. A poor drop shot from uh, Champing Sun. Quality not good enough. Five, three. Okay. Yeah, it was very good for Peng Sun and Go Liuing that uh, they actually won that uh, tournament in Thailand in January 19 because that was the first tournament they played after opting out of uh, Bampton Association of Malaysia and becoming independent players. So I think that gave them quite a boost that they were able to win that one. Oh. They beat these guys in the final, didn't they? They, they did. Also, also, back in 2016, at the Four, Thai Masters five. as well, they beat uh, the team in red. So. Uh, They've got a good winning record in Thailand against the Thais, ironically, even with all the support back then. Today, of course, no crowd in. But it must be said as well that uh, the Thailand pair has really, really improved over 2019. It must be said. They had a very good Play. year in 19. Lucky shot from Go Liuing. Apologising straight away. Yeah, you're right. Uh, rewinding to what you said, they've been quietly consistent. Anyway, 2019 was definitely that breakout year. Well documented. They won the Singapore Open, the Korean Open, the Macau Open. They were rampant back then. Yeah, and in Singapore, they beat Cheng Si Wei and Huang Yachong in the semi final. Yeah. And thoroughly served to win the tournament. They played awesomely. Oh. Soon, that's really keeping the attack now. He had to give it away, but playing patiently, both pairs waiting for the opportunity. Whoa!
Brilliant intervention there from Go Liu Ying at the net. Waiting for a chance patiently, as you said, Morton, and then just pouncing all over that. Slow conditions, eh? Wondering yeah. who that favours. Only time will tell. Only time will tell, yeah. But there is a slight strength compared to, uh, for the uh, Thailand pair compared to the Malaysian pair when it comes to defence. Because in, in my humble opinion, I think that uh, Tarat Tanachai is slightly better than Go Ying when it comes to defence. However, Go Ying is a bit more decisive at the top of the tape, so uh, it evens out in that way. And this is definitely not what the Malaysian wants with having Go Ying at the back. And it's happened twice Six, now, and it's seven. given two points to uh, the Thailand pair. Six now, the team in blue from Malaysia. Things looking up for them. Good serve from Peng Sun. What a turnaround that was from the Thais. Spirited defense and then immediately on the attack with Dechipol there. Seven, eight. And that's where we see Tyrat Tanachai really good in her defence. Twice she's getting it back from quite impossible situations. And that's definitely a trademark of uh, her very good defence. Well kept in. Service She's what I call a sort of relaxed player isn't she she just reads the play so well she never looks rushed sees the shuttle so quickly yeah, i think his string is gone oh! for tara tanachai Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, she is on the way out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we saw her running that uh, way, didn't yeah. we? It sounded like it, but it was not uh, too convincing, I think. But uh, she did well in her defence, despite. Look at that beautiful block shot cross court there, getting out of trouble, and then partner messing it all up. Yeah, I think he knew it, didn't he? Yeah. He knew she was going to run, run off at some stage and had to sort of double his efforts, and then as a consequence, kind of overpressed, I guess. Yeah. But he's got the pace and speed to cover Hasn't should it he? should it uh, happen so he's like a human rocket he's quick yeah, open court service over eight Well, we know how fast they normally love to play, and they're so problematic for opponents in that regard, the ties. But it oh. is slow out here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, if anybody can inject pace, he certainly can. That's your pole, probably a new pro. Ever alert there. <laughs> Terrific flat, hard block. Or drive even there, I think. Still only one point in it. Ah! 
Trevor Sorbon. And Soon, so insistent there. Nine. We get to the turn with a two-point cushion, do the Malaysians. Chan and Go looking good. 11-9 after 11 minutes of play. Yeah, here we've got the Malaysian uh, pair in the picture. And as you can see, they have no coaching. They are independent. But it's very interesting that uh, BAM, the Bampton Association of Malaysia, opted to drop uh, the coach, Chini Hui. And uh, she was the one that was masterminding uh, and guided them so brilliantly when it came to the um, uh, silver medal at the Olympics. And now they're going to be reunited again, which I think is great news for Chan Teng Sun and Go Lu Ying. Always nice to have somebody in your corner. Yeah, but it's a, they they know one another so well, yeah. and um, Chini Hui was uh, really masterfully guiding that partnership in in Rio. She really really did well, yeah. and it was a bit of a surprise that BAM opted to drop her as a coach in the setup. Eleven, nine, play. What a turnaround there. Champon Sun so quick up to that. Dart like here, arrow like in his path. Look at this. 12, 9. Uh, not enough, <coughs> enough pressure from uh, Dietrichel from the back, and he's getting punished that he's, he's playing too many soft smashes and not really going for the big ones. He, he's got to threaten a little bit more than what he does at the moment wide Well, they have really upped their game from when they were trailing 3-5. They've gone on the ascendancy. And they're starting to look very, very menacing now, the Malaysians. Oh. Oh. So and that's a rare sight. The serve of Go Lu Ying is 13. normally absolutely perfect. She's a very good server. And so often, she's the one that's keeping the partnership here. Uh, in the match, oh. beautiful flick serve there from uh, Paul by Rana Crow. 12, 13. Oh. 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 Well done. Imposing his will there, he was insistent. Yeah, clever that he's One. going straight down the line on that smash. And then, of course, finding the sideline against uh, Tarat Tanachai. Uh, it's good he was not going cross court on the first one. That would probably put him into a lot of trouble. Yeah, the Thailand pair, I, I sense, is, is lacking a little bit of pace. When we saw them, or when they are playing at their very best, I, I think they have got more pace to their game. They're more aggressive. They are more onto it. At the moment, they're just responding. Yeah, I don't think they're enjoying the scene in terms of the sort of s slight slowness of the hall. Just not getting the zing out of their game that they normally Confusion. do. Yeah. It's a yours moment, wasn't it? Yeah. Yours partner. 13. 15. Good play from Sapsuri here to just cause confusion. Thank you. Uh, Go Lu Ying was sure that uh, Feng Sun was going to take that one.
And that was a lot better what from uh, Pova Ranacro. This time he's he's hitting 100%. And uh, a lot of the other smashes has been, what, a 75? And uh, that has meant the Malaysian pair is just moving forward a little bit and slightly better in their defence. So he's got to inject a little bit more power. Well, look into the keeping of the tournament so far for the team in red. The Thai top seeds are sort of grappling with their performance level. They've dropped opening games en route here and look at under siege here as well. It's not been an easy campaign so far. Far from it. The Pavranukra and Teratanachai and they're up against the wall of Malaysian solidity as well here. Wince and a grimace, 15, she had it on her 16. racket. Yeah, there's very little between the two pairs at the moment, 16-15. And uh, it's anyone's game. Ah. 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 Little blase, oh, maybe switched off a little. Saw the hole on the court, didn't 17, quite hit through it. 15. This time, Service luck favours uh, for Ranacro. He's been a little bit unlucky with some of his uh, interceptions and smashes from the back. But this time, it's clipping the top of the tape and rolling over. Yeah, a little bobbler. So nibbling away at the scoreboard deficit, the red team. Well covered by Go Lu Ying, and third time Service from the same spot from the back, she's making a mistake on, on the attack. So that's three points for the Thailand pair from that exact situation. Definitely more of a front court player on the evidence of what we've seen here. Normally so solid back there though. But just pressing a little too hard, easy to do, wanting it too much maybe. Semi-final. On the line. Oh. Well, he thought she had it. 18. Oh. She was what? so rapid with the reflexes here. He was convinced, wasn't he? Chan Pong Soon. So, parity to the sharp end of this opener. Play. Oh! Oh! 19, uh, the mistakes 18. are creeping into the game of uh, jumping soon. Well, a timely break to the front for the top seeds. Game point, 18. Oh! 
Well, the Malaysians better Risky. check the back pocket because Ball that line. game was stolen by Paravanukro and Tiratanachai. That was an incredible turnaround Sub towards the sharp end there. 21-18. They come 18. through the opener, do the top seats in 22 minutes. Well, didn't they do well from 16 18 down five points in a row to secure that opening game get it under their belt and feel a lot better that's the first opening game they've won in the last three matches so that will uh, lift their mood no doubt for these two well they'll just have to regroup and press the reset button they were driving the initiative most of the way there and a couple of unfortunate unforced errors at the sharp end so it happens at high oh, level game, pro sport level. Best point of the match so far. Longest rally, that's for sure. What an alert finish from Golyu Ying there. Okay. Yeah, this kind of style demands a lot from Chan Ping Sun. He's got to keep it really steady and safe and not making mistakes, keeping it going, and of course, setting up Golyu Ying at the net as best as possible. But it, that requires quite a lot from him to keep d doing what he was doing in that rally. Doing a great job, the ties to get her away from the net and push her towards the backcourt at any opportunity. Yeah, there's no doubt that's part of the tactics to push uh, Golu Ying away from the net and, and into these difficult situations. That's, of course, what they want to do.
Yeah, that's uh, one of the things that you can exploit when you're playing Five, Tarot Tanachai. That she is uh, standing very firmly and, of course, having a little bit of trouble moving forward. I'm, I'm quite convinced it's got to do with the uh, injury that she sustained uh, back in 2017, the knee injury ACL. And uh, not as quick moving forward anymore as what she used to be. Real treat seeing her without the knee brace, isn't it? It is. Strong from the back, though. That was Three, a powerful five. smash from Tiara Tanachai. She can buckle her way through when she needs. line you tread isn't it as an elite athlete good sir that's going oh. well One of the few cross-court smashes we've seen so far from Chan Peng Soon. This one is paying off. Surprising Tarek Tanachai. Yeah, just stopping the run of points for the ties at four then. That was timely from Chan. Whoa! Whoa! Nicely done. they're discussing that Go Luying should uh, try to be a little bit more decisive at the net. That was a good opportunity. That is more decisive. She needed that because they've been sort of struggling just a, a weeny bit over the last seven, six or seven points, eight. the Malaysians. That'll give her a little bit more confidence. Yeah, it's very interesting to follow the uh, the pair in the, in the red because uh, normally Paul Ranocro is, is a very steady. He's keeping a very, very steady ship in every single match he's playing to his, uh, I would say, even 95, 100% most of the time. And when the partnership is then excelling, eight. it's, it's oh. all about whether Tarot Tanachai is really on a go or not on a go. However, today and in this tournament, I feel that Tarot Tanachai is playing, you know, steady, good, okay, but partner is not really up to his 95, 100% at the moment. But perhaps it's still enough. Just enough chili on that to get it done.
four points Eight. in a row for Chan and Go. Okay. And a change of shuttle as well as a two-point lead. Now, this is the kind of tempo, feel, and momentum that they had in the opening game. Can they sustain is the question on everybody's lips. Did well with the bat behind, but not well enough. Eleven he was alert to it. Chan and Go from Malaysia managed to find a way to hold on to the momentum with quite a run of points. That's five consecutives as they head to the turn. 11 8, just over half an hour of action. The start to the game after a, a mid-game interval is just so extremely important. And it will be interesting to see how the two partnerships oh. are, are really handling that situation. Good interception from uh, Richard Fond there. Ten, Driving it cross court, across the body of uh, Go Lu Ying. Play to her forehand, and it's a very tricky one to, to get back. Keen return 13, of serve from 10. Chan Punsun. Nukro there, that was really nice. Took all the pace out of this. 11, 13. Just as Cham was retreating for the big one. Quite the opposite. Again, coming right into her armpit. There was nothing she could do with that. 12, 13. No, clever play by the Thailand player. The follow-up, the, the pressure on Peng Soon, the straight pe pressure on Peng Soon. First one, second one, and then, of course, on the third one, going cross-court, but really kept it very nicely for Rana Crow. That's clever that he's not going cross-court on, on the first or the second. such discipline 12, with their attack lines. 13. Oh. And there was 
there's another chance there for Liu Ying. This time he was going long on the back line. And Tarek Tanachai cleverly moving out of the way. Suddenly, 14, after the mid-game interval, Morton, as you implied, with such significance, the ties have come back and really tightened up their ship. The Malaysians were 11-8 up. Not now. Four oh, in a row. Very, very important to get a, a good start after the interval. And, uh, of course, Malaysia was uh, three points up. And uh, if they could just extend their their lead a little bit from, from the uh, in interval they would probably have a good chance of going all the way through to the uh, through the second game and then uh, create a third game but now I think they're really in trouble and a perfect flick serve oh, good defence by Peng Sun Thirteen. Thirteen. It looks like the confidence of uh, Paul Ranocro is growing 13. by the minute at the moment. Uh, that was a lovely block shot. Excellent shot. Bringing Go Luying to the back. Oh. Oh, she's missed that one as well. Not having 18, her best day 13. today. Just been a few too many errors when she needs them least. is living dangerously but now with a five point cushion oh, oh. The back line. nine points in a row then 19, for the red shirted 13. team closing in on victory you sense now looking to extend their stay to the weekend Lucky shot. Twenty. Nevertheless, well defended 14. by Poverana Crow. Try to look at this one. Yeah, she's clipping the top of the tape, rolling over, setting up six match points for the Thailand combination. Twenty match point fourteen. is a little bit too late oh. for the Malaysian pair. That's long. Oh. At least it's good for the Malaysian pair that it's Go Lu Ying serving. She's, as, as I mentioned earlier, a very steady server, especially when it comes to these close situations. Three okay. match points have been saved. Yeah. 
Another They're team in blue at the top of your picture. Still another three to yeah, go. I think they've leeway here. Yeah. I think the Thailand pair is a better pair to on the day. On court two, men's single quarter final. Ungalong Angus from Hong Kong, China. Versus Lee Shuk Yu from Hong Kong, China. <laughs> And there it is then. I'm yeah, hard. really well read by uh, Tarek Tanachai. She moved at the right time and played the winner. That healthy run of nine points in a row from 10-13 down in game two, really aiding the Thai tandem into the semi-finals they go. The top seed safely home and dry, and this time in straight games, 21-18, 21-17. 44 minutes required. Parvanukro and Teratanachai home to Saturday's semi finals. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Yonex Thailand Open. Day four, quarterfinals day, unfolding nicely. 20 matches for your viewing pleasure over two 